So uh, Trypanosoma cruzi is also known as the American trypanosome and actually should be called the Latin American trypanosome because the disease caused by this parasite is found only in uh, South and Central America. And in this region, a large number of people uh, carry currently the, the parasite. Between 16 and 18 million people uh, are uh, infected at present. Uh, and the history of Chagas disease is very interesting uh, in the sense that unlike other infectious diseases, it was a single individual, Carlos Chagas, a Brazilian investigator working practically alone in the field, that made all the major uh, findings that led to, uh, to this realization uh, of not only uh, a completely new infectious uh, agent, but also the vector that was responsible for its transmission to humans, the animal reservoirs in the region, and also the living conditions uh, that really favor transmission uh, to people. So what Carlos Chagas noticed, he was in this rural area in Brazil working on malaria uh, transmission, uh, and he, uh, being trained as a medical entomologist, he noticed that insects that he found heavily infesting uh, these mud huts, uh, very common in this area and still uh, seen in many regions of South and Central America, uh, these houses were heavily infested by insects like this one shown here, which are reduvids. Uh, these crawling bugs that uh, during the day they hide in the cracks of the walls of these houses and come out at night to feed on blood of people and domestic animals. So uh, Carlos Chagas dissected uh, these uh, insects that he found uh, in these huts and he saw that they carried uh, these uh, very large uh, forms that uh, uh, was clear to him that this was a new uh, protozoan uh, organism that had not been identified before and he observed ma mainly two forms. So there was this longer form and a smaller one with an undulating flagellum which uh, uh, is what we know now to be the infectious form and the way he learned this was when he sent some of these infected bugs to the laboratory in Rio and they allowed these insects to feed on monkeys. Uh, and these monkeys very soon developed uh, an infection with large numbers of these parasites, which are very similar morphology, circulating uh, in the blood. Carlos Chagas at the same time, he was able to show that the circulating blood of children, uh, which showed signs of infection, uh, high fever and also these uh, swelling regions uh, in the face, uh, these uh, children in the blood uh, had large numbers of these parasites in circulation.